Alright, this is a video on how to adjust a New Era style voltage regulator. This is about the only kind of mechanical voltage regulator that is available in the Philippines, where I am. Um, they're all this brand, apparently. This is different from the, uh, from the American style mechanical voltage regulator that you might have on an old Camaro or a Mustang, first generation, 1960-something. Because this has got uh, six, uh, six wires on it instead of just four, like the American version. The American version also, at least some of them, have got an adjusting screw so that you can adjust the, uh, the voltage up or down. This one does not have that. The problem with these new era regulators is they tend to charge at about 15.5 or 16 volts out of the box. And they're not adjustable. So... The problem that I've been having is, uh, over the four years of having this truck, is it tends to cook batteries. This is the third battery that's been in the truck since I've owned it, uh, because it just basically kind of boils the acid in the batteries. So, because it's overcharging. Uh, this particular one is, uh, has been charging at about 15 and a half volts, which I think is too much. Um, so here's what, here's what you do to actually adjust it. You can adjust it if you know what to do. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. First of all, you just take out these two little tiny screws on the side here. And like I mentioned, it's New Era, and that's apparently the only brand available here. You can do this with the engine running, but just make very, very sure that before you touch anything in here, you've got this disconnected. Because if you don't, it will shock you enough to not really hurt you, but it, it sure does get your attention. All right, there are two sets of points in here, kind of similar to ignition points in an, um, in an automotive ignition system. This one, I think, may control the lower end of the voltage range. I'm not sure, but this one seems to control the higher end. What it's got is it's got, um, it's got two prongs with this piece is right here, and the points connect like that so what you want to do is to is to bend the lower tab down a little bit which is the one right here mr. cameraman if you can swing the camera there yeah that's gonna be this tab right here now I already did this in the video that I made just a minute ago but the camera shut off so I'm not gonna go to the trouble of redoing this all over again because we started out with a voltage of 15 and a half volts and when I bent this down a little bit it changed to about 14 or 14.1 or something, which is kind of ideal. It needs to be in a range of somewhere between 13.7 to 14 and a half or so. So 14 is fine. I've got it where I want it. I don't want to touch it. So if it turns out to be that it's uh, the voltage is too high, you bend it down. If it's too low, you bend it back up a little bit. That, that seems to be the way it is. You can just uh, play around with this, bend it just very slightly. I just had to bend it maybe a tenth of a millimeter or something, and it changed it about a, uh, about a volt and a half or something. So, again, you can do this with the engine running, but make sure you've got these plugs disconnected. So when you're finished with it, just plug it back up and check your voltage if you like the way it is. Leave it and put the cover back on it, and that's, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.